Teens mutilated. Three boys accused of stealing to have fingers amputated in Iran. Okay? So, obviously, the picture, they don't have the picture of these teens. And they're showing you the pictures of in somebody in Iran getting amputated. And look at all these geniuses on Atheist Republic. Look, that guy doesn't look like a teen. 113 likes, okay? So, yeah, yeah, Drake. It's not the... That's not the person that they're talking about. This is just the only picture of someone, an example of amputation in Iran. That's what it is. Like a whole bunch of, let me see, how many people made that joke? Teen. Look, 22. Wrong photo. Those, def those definitely are not teens. Bald man with beard is now a teen. Remind me of all the teens crossing the English Channel. Look at all these. What teenager already looks built like Alex Jones? This seems iffy. Oh my God, look at this. They are not teens. These are, these are the comments on the Atheist Republic Facebook page, guys. That dude with the full beard is a teen, question mark. I remember when I was 13, too. <laughs> That's not a teen. Keeps going. It keeps going. There's so many of this. Guys, maybe if you read the article, you would know that this is an example these photos show, uh, show the saw being used to amputate the fingers of a man convicted of adultery, okay? This is not about the teens. They had their own, this is the only picture of an ear. Ah, you, God damn it, you people. This is like, this is the Atheist Republic community, guys. Come on. Like, so especially this guy. This guy's not joking. Like, oh, this seems iffy. That's not a teen. I, I don't know if this story is true. I'll go. I, I, I'll show you how to do real skepticism. Okay. This guy is saying without clicking on the article and reading what this picture is about. Like, just looking at the cover. Like, mm, I don't know if I could trust this. The title says teen, but the picture so shows a man that looks more like he's in his forties. Like, oh, that's definitely not a teen. Hmm. No, not gonna even bother clicking on the article to see what the picture is about. But I'm doing. Am I doing skepticism right? Is this how you do skepticism? Is this how skeptic? No, it's not. AGA is saying, "Oh my God, so many people never read the articles and base their opinions on the headline and photo that accom uh, accompanies it." Yep, yep, including our own atheist republic community here. See, see, see. Um. All right, but let's let's read this article. Oh. I'm just going to read the first... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to read the summary of this one. This is getting too long. Um, yeah. Three teenage boys accused of stealing will have their fingers amputated as part of their, uh, as part of their horrific punishment. The three pr prisoners, uh, Hadi, Rostemi, Mehdi, Sharaf, Sharafian, and Mehdi, Sh Shahi... Shahivand, Shahivand, um, will have four finger, four fingers from their right hands sawn off. Iran's Islamic penal code says theft uh, on the first occasion is punishable. On the first occasion is punishable by the amputation of four fingers uh, of the right hand. Uh, Nargis Television's legal analyst and journalist at Iran International TV said amputation as a form of punishment is rare in Iran. To have this type of punishment, there are 13 rules that all need to apply for the judge to order an amputation. However, judges usually avoid issuing such punishments by saying that 12 out of the 13 rules are met and amputation is therefore not required. Despite attempts to appeal the decision, Supreme Court judges this week upheld the verdict. So it's going to happen. These poor teenage boys, who is not, who this is not their picture of, are going to get four because these people are desperate and poor enough to go steal. And now they're going to lose four. They're going to be able to not work. Again, imagine somebody being so desperate that they go steal. And now you're cutting four of their fingers. And now they're going to not be able to recover, not be able to do so many other work because of it. So much other work. Like all the, a lot of the pathways to get themselves out of poverty so that they don't have to steal anymore is now being denied to them because now they don't have four fingers. Right? Um, but here's the thing. So this, the sun is, okay, so here's what I do first, okay? I'll take the URL, Okay. And I post the URL because if I search, for example, the Sun Wikipedia, 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get um a Wikipedia, a Wikipedia page about the actual sun. Okay. So to make sure that you actually to actually you're actually getting the Wikipedia page about this news article, you just copy paste the uh, the website and then put the Wikipedia and then you click on it, right? And then you say the sun the sun is a tabloid newspaper published in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, look at here. So look. The sun is like a right wing. Okay, look at this one. Okay. A right wing. Uh, so you know it's an is again it's a right uh, right leaning news article. So you don't know if it's uh, alignment. It says um conservative euro skepticism so you don't know this is not like objective news right so what you do is then maybe search for the title okay so again the sun the new york post i also checked the new york post is also not that trustworthy right and also the mirror is untrustworthy from the other side. So if you do the same thing with the mirror, you want it, oh, not this. You do, you want, you, here. Daily mirror. Again, see political alignment, labor. Again, I do. I preferably you want to get these kind of news from somewhere that doesn't have any political alignment, whether left or right. Right. So you have the Daily. Obviously, you're not gonna. I mean, I'm hoping more people people here know that Daily Mail is not trustworthy at all. Okay, this is Fox News. This is just Facebook. Oh, here BBC. That's better. Much better. Is this that? Oh, nope. One thing I forgot to do is to say past month. So that the BBC one went away. So see, the first page is all not very good. God damn it. See, you cannot, you have to be skeptical. Yeah, this is the best. This is what the one I actually clicked on that made me want to believe this news. Okay, this is a human rights organization. Okay. This is September 18, 2020. Iran amputees the finger of three men convicted of stealing. Okay. So, again, I'm not saying you should trust this 100%, but Iran, uh, Iran and HRM, it's a human rights monitor. You could trust it more, or maybe you could see, like, no, I don't actually trust it just because it says human rights, right? Maybe they are a front for another group, right? I can't spell. Um, which began in activities in 2016. Website of a group of uh, the websites began in activities to uh, draw international community attention to human rights violations. It not only publishes reports on, on violations of human rights on a daily basis. The website, which active in both Persian and English, publishes monthly reports on human rights violations in Iran. Uh, the group also publishes specialized reports on specific issues. Okay, so. Uh, this is also, I wish it said this, but this is also done by Iranians and people with access to the news in Iran. So again, I'm not saying you should trust any of this 100%, but th I, this gives me better, um, you know, at least I could be like, okay, okay, so, you know, probably true, not 100%, not 100%, but more, you know, more likely than not, right? And also in this article, you can see links to, um, other people, despite attempts to appeal the decision, 13 branch of the Supreme Court judges this week upheld the verdict. So we could click on this link that these human rights group link to. Oh, it's actually they're linking to themselves. Um, yeah, but again, I trust this. These are people with connections on the ground in Iran. So I trust this human rights group more than those other articles. Anyways, again, none of these methods will show you if anything is 100% real or not. 
it will just increases increases or decreases the likelihood. You should always have some level of skepticism, though. And uh, we're here. So I was saying we call the Daily Mail as a daily fail because it's not reliable. Yeah, the Daily Mail. It's really sad because if they were actually reliable, they use more reliable sources. The way they display the no news is very helpful. I wish somebody was doing the Daily Mail version of displaying the news, but without being so crappy. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 